folks, I'm about to show you an RV completely from the outside. This will be the first time I've done a video without stepping inside of the RV. Hello folks, my name's Dave from Dave's RV Channel. Check what I'm looking at today. I've got an E-Pro here. It's a uh, by Flagstaff. Very small RV. I could bite pull this thing with my lawnmower. <laughs> Anyway, folks, I don't work for this company. I don't work for the people that sell it. I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. Just here shooting some videos today. Thought I'd show you this thing. It's pretty neat. So again, I don't make any money from this. All I hope is that you give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you hadn't done already. So uh, anyway, let me show you what we got going on here. Well, we got a single axle RV. It's got a 13 inch wheels on it. And this is a Flagstaff E12RK by Forest River. And uh, here's you a couple of little stickers to look at. And uh, this is over at Reed Camper Sales in Huntsville, Alabama. Now folks, uh, again, I am not a salesman. I'm just a man here checking this thing out. So I wanted you guys to see what I'm looking at today. This has a uh, full-size air conditioning system on the roof. I like that. Boy, you can imagine how well that keeps this little RV unit uh, cooled off. You do have a little bit of storage area right here over the bed to put you some clothes and shoes and everything. You also, as I said, you've got a bed here, and I'm going to tell you that thing is hard as a rock. Now, I'll also like to point out to you, you've got a little TV inside of here. You've also got the uh, storage area above the TV. And uh, I tell you what, folks, I'm going to see if that other side door there, it has two doors to entry, this thing. I'm going to see if that other door is open, and if it is, I'm going to see if I can actually lay on this bed. Okay, the other door was locked, but I was able to test, and I am able to lay down in this. I am six foot one, so for me to have room to lay down there, just wanted you to kind of get an idea yourself of what uh, what size the this uh, bed actually is. So. Anyway, let me show you around a little bit outside. That's where uh, some of the fun happens. Okay, according to this sticker, you can actually haul 733 pounds of cargo, which actually includes 166 pounds of water. So uh, here's the door, and they actually put you a little curtain on there. Isn't that cute? So stepping around to the back side here, there is actually a flip top awning so this opens up the entire back area and this is where your kitchen is so you've got uh you've got actually a power inverter built in back here beside the refrigerator this is like a small dorm size refrigerator you can put all kinds of neat stuff in here and keep keep it cool it's, it's uh it is a smaller rv and it is a smaller uh refrigerator but that should easily work for somebody who is wanting to do uh, just a weekend camping got plenty of storage up here for some food you could put your boxes of cereal or canned goods up there and you've actually got a microwave got a small little sink now what i kept looking for back here folks is i kept expecting to find a shower i kept thinking that with this this awning at the top that maybe a shower curtain would drop down and there would be a shower area back here but there is not one so i was disappointed to see that maybe they have some on different models but they do not have one on this model uh, it's got all your standard hookups out here your fresh water your uh your uh electrical hookup which is a 30 amp you got your uh satellite hookup and it actually has jacks back here I'd actually like to see the jacks in the front as opposed to the back because you do have the wheel right here that jack really doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose but if it was in the front it would give it a little more stable uh, sit as you were uh, when you're camping it looks like the ball hitch 
is a two inch size so that would work with just about any vehicle on the market uh, you can also see that they have a uh, an area to put two batteries on here and also of course a uh, propane tank and it has your spare tire mounted down below also gives you a light out here so you can see what you're doing at night when you're trying to hook everything up okay now let's get over here and see what the uh, see again what kind of numbers that we're looking at again the cargo should never exceed uh, 733 pounds the total weight of this vehicle with it completely loaded down is going to be a little short of 2,000 pounds so yes just about any vehicle could pull this thing so uh, you're looking at about 1,200 pounds is what dry weight of this little RV is 1,200 pounds so uh, you can see that it's aerodynamic and uh, like I said before just about anything could pull this it looks like the total height of this thing is probably about six foot six maybe seven foot to the top of the roof line and uh, where the air conditioner the top of that cannot be over nine foot I would imagine so this would fit in just about any garage type setting so that's a that's a nice little bonus benefit there uh, so let me see if I can find a price on this thing but again it's down here at Reed Camper Sales in Huntsville Alabama and I do not see a price on it anywhere folks but I'm sure if you call that number and ask for somebody in sales I'm sure they'll be glad to tell you well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, I don't work for this company or any company. I just work for myself. So I really appreciate y'all. Give me a thumbs up if you would. That'll, that'll at least get me maybe two pennies out of the deal. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, I really do appreciate it. Hope to see y'all soon. Y'all have a great day. See y'all. Bye-bye.